Hello everybody and welcome to Nighthawk Productions video cast. Alright guys, before we start out this video today, I would like to give some shout outs to people. And the first person I'd like to give a shout out to is Super Nopin, I think is how you pronounce it. The second one is Blue Nova 1995. And the third one is Murdoch87. And the reason being is that um, I made a video about three months ago or so. Uh, and it's about how to make a program that logs your keystrokes. So, now that that's aside, you should download an archive um, that has a folder in it called Hack Game. And then you're just going to drag that into your desktop like this and open up the folder. Inside the folder, you should see all these different stuff. The one that we're going to be looking at today is hackthegame.exe. So, under Mission Pack, we're going to click uh, original, uh, not French, English, original English, and for the um, hacker ID, I'll just do YouTube. Now, um, basically the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get a message in our inbox. Here we go. And it should say hi there, and a bunch of other stuff, and he's basically in this note telling us that we need to uh, steal a file uh, that we're going to be using um in further missions from another computer so you're gonna wanna find his IP address which should be right here highlight it copy it and remember all this information or as how I do write it in notepad so the port is 2592 oh, 2592 his login name is anonymous His password is Google now we can put this notepad aside let's put it up here and we are ready to go so exit out of the message and the first thing that we're gonna do is as you can see here this is kind of like our command line we're gonna type in ping and then um, paste the IP address that we've just copied and press enter now what's really cool about this game is that even though it's fake and all the hacks, quote unquote hacks in this game, are not real, it's still a realistic game. As in, all the code that you're learning in this is actually used by professional programmers, which is pretty cool. So, now what we're going to do is type in telnet space. Um, uh, another way to paste is by pressing control V. Uh, so I paste the IP address, space, and then type in whatever your port number was. 2592 happened to be mine. And there we go. Login is oh, anonymous or whatever yours is. It changes every time. And then the password is Google. And now it should say the remote host has started a backtrace, blah, blah, blah. So that means we need to move fast in this case. Exit out and then quickly type ls, press enter. Type in cd space hacking tools with a z. So that's hacking tools, no space, and the s is a z. Enter. ls, enter. And now we're going to click on this git file. We're going to type in port scanner w32.exe, just like how I have there. Going to click download wait for the download to be done mm, there we go exit out of that and type in cd dot dot enter ls enter and then type in cd space telnet logs which is one word enter ls enter now this is where you need to pay attention so you're gonna type in del space 192 Point one six eight point oh one oh point oh oh one. There we go. Now we're going to type in cd dot dot and we're going to type in disconnect. There we go. Job complete. Uh, and there we have it. So I will be making a tutorial on the second mission, which we will be doing right now. So make sure that you check out part two.